Welcome to the latest episode of Cut to the Chase. Today we're talking how we get those buyers to engage. Well, how to get them out of the shadows, right? They're all waiting, interest rates, prices dropping, how to get them engaged. And we've just done a session, Diego, with your buyers associates. So interesting, eh? When ringing buyers, the standard protocol is, hi, Diego, Aaron here from Harcourts. I see that you're looking for a four bedroom, two be you know, bedroom. Where is the excitement? Well, it's, you know, and here's a property. And what do they say? Oh, yeah, send us the details. Uh, we'll come to the open home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trying to flog them off, right? Yeah, and, yeah. And, and they never show, right? Yeah. Versus so much better with that engagement. Ring, ring. Hello. Play. Diego, Aaron here. Opportunities. Really, have I seen one? Oh, what's up? Well, I'm standing on the front lawn of a property in Parnell, mate. It's right up your alley. And the reasons why they're selling is X, Y, Z. You're the first person I've phoned. When can I show you through? Ah, oh, you can't say nothing there, can you? We're all playing at this best. But the interesting thing, I've done an appraisal yesterday for someone and I was using those usual, usual words, words that I use, which are the market will be most probably decreasing over the next foreseeable future, 6, 12, 18 months. And the guy stopped me and said, Diego, I work for the Reserve Bank. <laughs> All I'm going to tell you, and I don't know if it was a cleaner or an analyst or God knows what, but he, was, he works for the Reserve Bank and he said, Diego, by the end of this year, early next year, you will see a change in some policies that will make the market come up again. So I start thinking about that, right? Now, the guy was genuinely telling me something that maybe I don't know. I don't know. Now, then I was thinking, uh, uh, listening to the New Zealand Property uh, Real Estate Podcast by RPNZ, and they as well are seeing still a decrease, but the decrease percentages are uh, getting smaller yeah. and smaller. At some point, you'll get to the market dropping only 0.5% instead of 2%, which it did last month, and all of a sudden, buyers realize it's the bottom, and that cre creates the froth that is going to make things happen again. So if you're a buyer, yes, you've got to be aggressive in a positive way, but as well, you got to understand that I think we're about three months away from something changing in the market. And if you're trying to pick the bottom of the market, you might be here. <laughs> Get them out of the show. Another tip, I've got to share another tip when yeah, they come through do. an open home. Diego, I appreciate you taking the time to come through today. My owners asked for some meaningful feedback. Here's a little summary of the property, but I've got a whole lot more of that information if you're requirement. Don't give them everything from the get-go. It's the same with advertising, eh? Don't put all the features and benefits in the advertising because the, the market goes, I know everything about it, it doesn't suit me. Yeah. Yeah. Hold some information back. Hold some information again, but give them something as well to take away. My lovely Joe, my marketing manager, she spent a week coming up with this booklet with every single property we got on the market. And we give it, we literally give it to everyone that comes to an open home. That's a thick what? book. It's a thick book. It's about 50 <laughs> properties at the moment. Uh, so, you know. And it's hard to make you look good too. Oh, you know, there, there's no pictures of me in there. But the beautiful thing of that is that the buyer gets in the car and the wife or the husband drives, the other one is looking at all this property. They all got QR codes so they can actually look at it on the phone with all the pictures and video. So you just gotta be meaningful. We keep saying the same thing, are we? Is this, is this a broken record podcast? <laughs> hey, look, now it's a blessing. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Never a chore.